I am here today with the wonderful Gavin Leatherwood, who you may know as Nicholas Scratch from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And we are going to get into the weeds. I'm just gonna dive right in with the question. You are good at card tricks and sleight of hand, I've heard. Can you show me any um, tricks virtually? See that? I'm removing my finger. Uh, I watched the lovely video of you uh, doing your sister's makeup with the uh, <laughs> Sabrina makeup palette. And I was wondering yeah. if you were to make a makeup palette, what would it be called? And bonus points uh, if you can come up with names for the makeups in the palette. Oh my gosh. Cherokee, these are no easy fastballs <laughs> you're throwing me. These are some curveballs. I'm not, I'm I mean, not that curveball. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Probably be like, you know, Gavin's something with like an alliteration, like Gavin's great natural. Uh, that was the worst alliteration I could have even come up with. Gavin's great. Come on. Something that would either be like supernatural looking or very spicy for the nights out on the town, you know? Spicy. I like that. Like some shimmer. There'd be some yeah. shimmer in there. Sparkles would happen at some point in there. Bright, obnoxious colors to like catch people's eye and be like, who's that? What are they doing? Yeah. Yeah, Heather, vibrant colors. If you were a fly on the wall, where would you land? I mean, the White House would be an interesting place, especially right now. Uh, I'd probably get a little tense in there. You know, maybe maybe somewhere like a lot of people are not allowed to go. Um, like maybe go visit the Pope and see what's happening in his walls. Like, is he always in the robes? You know, um, does he have magical powers? You know, I'm curious. What is something that happened on the Sabrina set uh, when the cameras weren't rolling, but you wish they were? You know, I feel like everyone did a pretty good job of filming a lot of the good bits and capturing a lot of what was happening, especially in the beginning. We were all, we were all like so high on an energy of being together. Um, you know, we all fell in love with each other immediately. And there were, there were a few moments captured of us like doing music stuff. And those really were some of like the special the special moments like Kieran and I had like improvise and write songs in the back I'd like play guitar and she'd sing and and then there's like the stuff that is probably best people don't see you know where we're like out clubbing and being silly and um you know letting loose uh and if they saw that you know um they'd get jealous because they wouldn't be a part of the party and and that would you know and when they weren't rolling you know we were just like sitting in the back meditating and chilling and chatting. Can you give me advice about how to summon a demon? Ouija board, candles, salt circle, uh, and the combined forces of many of many powerful witch minds. That's what it takes. How do you change a tire? All right, you take out the you take out the thingy, the big thingy, the jack thingy, and then you put it under the car and you pump it. And then you take off the things with the knobs, the twisty things and the stuff and the bolts. I know all the terms. I do. What's the meaning of life? The meaning of life is to create your own personal meaning of life. What should I make for dinner? Ooh, veggies, uh, like baked oven roasted veggies, a little olive oil, some salt, some, some pepper, some herbs and spices, stick that bad boy in the oven, 400 degrees, 40 minutes, and then maybe like a nice grass-fed filet mignon, like with some caramelized butter and fresh garlic rubbed on top of it. That's my go-to. The next round uh, is called Weird White Lemon. And I have pulled together some Tumblr posts uh, to show you. So what we have here are uh, some cursed images. Uh, so I was wondering which one of these images is the most cursed and if you had to which one would you eat i have to eat one of them damn cherokee they're all <laughs> cursed as shit oh that that chunky clam chowder like creamsicle thing is really looking at me the, the wrong way <laughs> um the three little wieners over there with faces on them totally remind me of pokemon but like a scary ass version of them the banana peeled backwards, it looks like it has guts in it. That's a gnarly one. And then, you know, Crocs. Butter Croc. Oh my. Is that a butter Croc? It's a butter Croc. Is that a butter Croc? It is a butter Croc. <laughs> I would eat the shit out of a butter Croc, Cherokee. 
<laughs> no question. I love butter so much. Caramelized I love butter. butter. <laughs> what we have here are... All right. <laughs> These, These are, are jacked <laughs> up. These are some cursed images uh, of people. So I'm wondering which one is a situation that you think you would be most likely to get in. <laughs> uh, definitely that one for sure with the with that musical instrument. And... <laughs> yeah, that would probably be it. My gosh, how do where do these come from, Cherokee? You're gonna give me nightmares tonight. <laughs> I feel like I would go from like the picture of just like a night of raging music to like swimming in a dirty pool and somehow that would land me in the ER with like a weird butt injury and I'd be going on a on a little what is that a gurney is that what it's called yeah I think yeah gurney. I think so right yeah I'd be like going on the gurney just like all right gotta get some food somehow even though my butt's injured <laughs> that would be the progression I'd go yeah. from all three of those uh, the final cursed posts these are cursed animals and I was wondering which one you would pick as your familiar <gasps> the elephant, hands down. That's like a that's like a no-brainer. <laughs> Elephants are so damn smart. I don't care if the elephant is, you know, reaching into my What is he getting into there? A little bucket? Yeah, I think he's like getting a drink. He's Get just he's just a thirsty elephant chilling outside. But like, what is that, a possum? Hell yeah. no. <laughs> Come on, possum. Get off my window, you little Spider-Man possum. <laughs> you got a witch and a horse. And then is that a penguin? I, yeah, it's a penguin. I didn't know they had- I've always them. thought penguins to be so beautiful and cute and like, you know, sweet, but that guy, nah, I'm good on that. No thanks, penguin, not today. On to the next, we have some incorrect quotes. And I was wondering which one you think would be most likely to be on the show. I think, uh, I have an idea, a good one. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. That's so like, that's classic, like Sabrina just getting into mischief trying to solve the world's problems and Nick being like that, that like loyal man right next to her going you know okay he's in it whether it's a good or a bad one but yeah. I like that line it's like simple and beautiful it's very it very much captures the essence of the characters some more incorrect quotes um same question which one uh would be most likely to be on the show I really like this first one uh because I can picture Luke saying that line and I just really want I want to hear him say that. So if you could like reach out to Luke and have that line play out. You've been canceling our plans for weeks now, Sabrina. If it's something I said, please. You know, I could totally just see <laughs> Luke saying that and delivering that with his little nuance. Perfect. It's as if he was here. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time trying to impersonate pretty much every single one of the cast members. Do you have a like an impersonation uh, that you think you're the best at? I used to do like Sam's Caliban. Oh man, but it's, I don't want to botch it now. It's been so long. Hello, my princess. What could I be your prince? I'm made of dirt and clay. <laughs> <laughs> I was so out of practice. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I need to spend more time with these cats. I miss them all. For this final bit, uh, we are going to do co-star superlatives. So I'm gonna give you the name of a co-star and I want you to give them a high school yearbook superlative. So the first one, Kiernan Shipka. Oh, um, most likely to succeed. Chance Perdomo. Class clown. He's got that yeah. class clown vibes, you know. Tati Gabrielle. She's most likely to be late. I hate <laughs> to say it, but like anytime we have a gathering, she like, she always lingers too long, like getting ready or something. And she'll say she'll be there in five, which she really means is like 20 or 30. Tati is uh, not punctual, but when she arrives, it's lovely. Uh, Jazz Sinclair. Uh, like most likely to like give you the best, most nurturing, lovely feelings and cozy hugs. Like she's she's got this like earth mama energy, which is like anytime you're having a bad sort of day, She'll be there to console you. She's like, she's most likely to melt your heart. Uh, Lachlan Watson. Uh, best dressed. Ross Lynch. Most likely to um, to float into his own little world of music. There'd be moments where we like all be hanging out and he would like get stuck on this line on a guitar and you just lose him for like 10, 15 while he would figure it out. And then eventually he'd come back and you might ask him something and he'd like, Kind of just look at you with like, I'm hearing you, but I'm not gonna respond because I'm like still here with the music. That boy loves his music, you know? 
soulful. And Abigail Cohen? Abby is most likely to make you laugh. She's cracked me up harder than a lot of people, just in her essence and her being. You know, it's not like she's, she's, it's not like she's telling funny jokes. It's like she's, she's laughing at the jokes that she's telling and that's what makes it so funny, you know? <laughs> it's really quite adorable. And uh, Adeline Rudolph? Oh, she's like most likely to be a foreign diplomat. That girl can speak so many languages. She, she's a, she's a smarty pants. That's the interview. Um, thank you for looking at some really cursed posts with me and answering some of our questions. It was lovely to see you again um, in, you know, in virtual world. Yeah, I is feel like any... you're so close. So close yet so far. So yeah, that's just how it is. <laughs> Yeah, if I have nightmares tonight, I will be calling you and blaming you. Um, and this was lovely. And uh, it's been nice to chat and yeah. revisit some old memories and feelings. It feels good. Yeah. Miss those kids.